Hello and welcome back to the Beatdown Bandits podcast. I'm Colin. This is season 30, episode 25 of the podcast as I just about, I swear, like, this is this is the third recording I've done of just this intro. Uh, the, the first one, I knocked over my uh, glass of water that I had sitting here, uh, had a disaster and uh, stopped recording, started all over again. I started, I got about 20 seconds in and I started just like hacking up. <laughs> I just got like this like weird coughing fit. And uh, probably because I lost my water and I didn't bring more water and I, I still don't have water with me. So uh, this is gonna be an interesting podcast. I'm gonna probably keep it short anyway. And now uh, the number third, the number third, I don't know what's happening to me today. This is this is an epic start, and uh, I'm not going to go again. This this is number three, third time is a charm, and we're just going to rock and roll with it. But anyway, I started my podcast uh, today uh, for the third time, and now I just uh, my my phone is sitting here in front of me with my notes for today uh, because I didn't want to forget uh, anything that I wanted to mention today. So I have my phone here, and I just whacked it in about. Uh, about knocked it off of my desk and I uh, had a little minor, minor uh, wow like I, I don't think I have to I, I don't think I need to go for number four um, so we're, we're just going to roll with with my horrible stuttering and talking over myself and whatever else I knock off maybe I'll break my, my computer or something today or I don't know what else will happen so um, we're just gonna roll with this. This, this uh, should make for an epic, uh, an epic intro, anyway. So, anyway, today's topic. I should probably just get going, um, so we can get through this as quickly as possible. But today's topic is uh, is YouTube, and uh, I've stumbled across a few a few things here recently, and um, there, there's a ton more. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna list like a handful of of, uh, of things here of people I like and uh, I like watching and listening to or whatever. And, uh, but basically I, I just wanted to list like the YouTube channels that I watch on the regular. Um, so um, I just wanted to share these. Uh, there are several different categories, I guess. And there's a lot more that need to be on this list. This list was honestly a little rushed. Maybe I will do a part two of uh, smaller ones or ones that I forgot about. I probably will do a part two because this podcast is going to be going forever. We're already in the third year. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll revisit in like season 26, something like that. So um, anyway, uh, so I, I don't know which category to start with. So I the, the categories I have, because most of the stuff I talk about is Apex, which maybe we'll just start with that. So I have Apex real life variety gaming uh i have sports i have sketch comedy i have gta and i kind of have some miscellaneous stuff so um <clears throat> i already know there's already several like i am missing right now um just by looking at my list of people that i have here so i am definitely going to be doing a part two uh but uh, let's just uh, let's just roll with what I have here for sure. So we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, Apex. So let me pull up my Apex list here. So uh, first and foremost, somebody who gets featured on my channel quite a bit, who's been a guest on this podcast, um, and uh, I don't know, once every two weeks or so, we have a video uh, together. Uh, a very funny person and uh, very uh, very unique and creative creator. Uh, of Apex content is uh, my my friend Cameo. Uh, so everybody that I list, I'll I if if I have the time to edit this, I'm kind of rushing this video today. Uh, full disclosure. Um, worst case scenario is I will put links to everybody below. If I have time to like legit do an edit, uh, I will. Uh, for those of you watching at least on YouTube, I will put uh some like stuff up on there about their channel uh insert cameo stuff here now but if not uh then uh it may be rushed uh because i got a lot of other stuff i need to tackle today and this podcast needs to go out tomorrow so if i get time to like legit do an edit i will put that worst case there's going to be links in the description for these so um but do check out cameo like i said very unique uh, creative, funny content, uh, plus, plus your boys on there every once in a while. So that, that's always cool. Um, uh, 
and and some of these people are big names some are less big i guess um so next up one that i'm always entertained by but uh is very streaky is uh is zilbrad who's uh who's an australian apex creator most people are aware of who this person is it's not groundbreaking information but it's so funny and honestly like <laughs> nothing against zilbrad because like watching him like i don't learn anything um, I'm more or less like I, I could honestly just not watch it and just listen and like that's what I'm there for uh, like the, the only thing I don't like about a lot of like content creators is I don't learn stuff from them so I do have like some tips and tricks type apex people in here as well um, but like watching somebody like you know uh, Daltouche or uh, whoever the hell Verholz. Like I, I like Verholz YouTube channel, but I don't really learn anything because like I'm just not that good. And um, but like Zilbrad, like I'm there for the entertainment value, like the stupid and crazy things he says. Um, I'm a big fan of like Toddy Quest on his uh, on gets on his channel every once in a while and is, is featured on there quite a bit. Uh, he's so freaking funny. So uh, that's what I'm there for is that goofy content. Uh, next up is, uh, is Staycation, who, um, uh, I started off just watching, I think I like accidentally stumbled across like his YouTube channel one day and then started watching him on Twitch. And this was years ago. I don't know, four years ago or right, right after Apex started. How long has Apex been out? Three years, four years. I don't even know, but it was like a month after Apex came out. Um, you know, Staycation always talked about like just putting content out and just always getting out there and you, you know. If you if you put the most Apex content out there, you're going to be found. And that was like the logic he was he was using. And, and he exploded. He had a great personality. I liked the people that he was playing with at the time. Um, I, I'm, I let, watch him less and less, to be honest. Yeah, he he kind of went off and started doing some of his own things and stopped streaming as much. And and that's fine. Everybody's got their own lives. But um, I, I really liked some of the people that he was he was. Uh, uh, playing with there was a guy named like Zwirly or whatever who's a really talented Watson player and like that was one of the reasons like I started playing Watson way in the beginning um, but I, I still uh, I still watch a lot of Stay's videos I don't watch his uh, Twitch streams too much anymore uh, it's a little just less inconsistent but um, his videos are usually pretty entertaining because he's got um, he's got a lot of skill and uh but he's also like almost like an everyday guy where where he's not going to hit pred and all this stuff because he doesn't dedicate his life to that he he's got all these other pursuits that he does so um i always respected stay for just kind of being like an everyday person that's actually pretty decent um next up is jenks who uh i i came across because of stay um but i never was like sub to his like youtube channel and like, I always just liked him, like stumbling across him on like other YouTube channels. I'm going to mention uh, a couple of those here in a minute. Um, but then like, I went and like, I don't know, maybe six months ago, started watching like his videos and they're freaking amazing. Like Jenks is like the most wholesome person, but he's, he's also very skilled, but he's like extremely wholesome and, uh, and fun. He knows how to have fun with the game um like a lot of like the super sweaty players i don't enjoy watching because I, I don't get anything out of it like yeah cool trick shot or yes you're goaded by doing all these you know crazy 360 no scope craver shots from across the map but uh I, I don't know those are like a dime a dozen to me so the people that are unique and have like those amazing personalities like jenks does that's more interesting to me so uh but jenks is one of those like i said he's very wholesome and he has a ton of fun uh, he's he like I, I, he had to put out a video recently uh, where he was like purposely losing to the enemy team and just letting the other like the enemy team kill him uh, so they could get wins like like that stuff is is very entertaining. Um, Zeus, uh, who uh, was also featuring a lot of Jenks, um, I, I, you know, Juice, I Juice, Zeus, I watch a lot for the. Uh, uh, like teabagging the TTVs and watching their reactions and stuff. It's it's very funny. Um, Zeus is a little less wholesome, wholesome than Jenks. They do play together a lot, but, uh, you know, Jenks does a lot of just trolling or whatever and uh, tries to do his best to drive uh, Zeus absolutely insane. But uh, uh, I like Zeus when he puts out uh, the basically trolling videos and stuff. He's He's very good with it. Uh, next up is, uh, is Ragtag, 
Um, again, like for like the the below average player like myself and the uh, the boomer player, uh, it's it's nice watching somebody who calls himself you know uh, gutter tier, but he's he's actually pretty decent. Um, so yeah, ragtag. He's got uh, again one of those just amazing personalities, great storytelling abilities, and uh, but he's also pretty decent. Uh, he's not too bad. I know he, you know, he talks about like, well, it takes him, you know, a hundred games to have one good game. I'm in the same boat. So I, I definitely understand uh, what he's going through and his struggles, but um, the, the, the quality of his videos and the stories that he tells are, are amazing. So um, I like it. And, and uh, I hope he kind of pushes back to that. Um, he was putting in like a, like a, I don't know, two, three times a week type of thing. Now he's down to like one video a week and he was making them longer. Uh, like 20 30 minutes they've shortened down i know he's got some stuff going on in his life that's distracted from him uh to do those things and that's that's uh totally understandable but yeah hopefully he he's able to come back to those uh, longer videos those, those were always good um next up is uh Machin, who uh i've been following since about season three um season four um crypto came out in season three and there was this like really big push at the time of like a kill race between a couple people and uh ill spooky who was one of them uh he's he's also somebody he doesn't do a ton of like youtube content he's he he really focuses on his streaming career but matchin does both he streams a lot but now matchin is also joining like the algs so he's got a team like his he's on the glitch energy team and uh <clears throat> so matchin is is on there so he'll his name will, is about to be bigger and bigger and bigger but uh, there was a time, probably about like season six ish or so, he did take over the number one crypto spot, um, and uh, so he was the number one crypto there for a little while. Uh, Ill Spooky had it for the majority of the time, and then he kind of like stepped back, and then Matchin took over. Uh, obviously, he's gone away from crypto. He still busted out every once in a while, but he is now like arguably the number one fuse player in the world. So. Uh, Match since real deal. He's he also came from I think Xbox and then went over to uh to PC I don't know, maybe six months ago a year ago and he's also been focusing on uh, getting off a of controller and, and doing mouse and keyboard. So uh, I think he does mouse and mouse and keyboard exclusively now. So <clears throat> um uh but anyway like I said he's he's a lot of fun. He's he's very knowledgeable with the game and I think he's now like the glitch energies like IGL. Um, but again, he's, he's got a great personality. He's got a lot of stuff going on and, and he always talked about doing this kill race while having a full-time job. He was a pilot, so he's always traveling and stuff. So, uh, being number one crypto while being a pilot is pretty impressive. Um, uh, so this next one is pretty weird, uh, because I got killed by this guy one time. Uh, actually Kamio, who I mentioned earlier, we both got killed by this guy. He was a master player at the time. I think he's been pred quite a bit. Uh, but this guy's name is Mango uh, Mangoes and Trees, and he's not super sweaty or anything like that. But he's uh, he's also an Apex coach, and uh, <clears throat> he has, uh, in my opinion, amazing videos on how to die less, how to do this, and and decision making videos. And I love it. I share it with my friends uh, every time he posts a video. It's it's epic uh it's i usually he's like you know 10 tricks on how to do this and i usually be able to pull one or two things out of it so it's great um so i've always respected this guy i don't think i've ever told him that he killed me in a in a I, i'm thinking of like his unit as his username was something like ttv or, or yt or something so i looked him up and uh uh subscribed that day and have been a fan ever since that was like a year ago or something so i've been watching his content for about a year it's very good uh same thing happened with sultan d uh he was on xbox i think originally i'm pretty sure i got killed by him at one point and i discovered him that way uh also another guy who does a lot of like aiming videos tips and tricks videos but uh sultan is also amazing um so i i've always liked this guy he's got a great personality cool dude uh interacted with him a couple times on like uh on like twitch or excuse me on uh on twitter or whatever so he's he's pretty fascinating um uh also you know like i said just good tips and tricks type of stuff um okay so moving on to a different category uh next up is uh is real life 
uh, stuff. So actually, you know what? I'm going to skip real life. I'm going to come back to that next. Um, we're going to start with variety gaming uh, comedy uh, specifically. Uh, like I said, I, I, I would much rather if I'm watching YouTube videos, I, I don't like necessarily always watching like super sweaty people. Uh, that doesn't that doesn't really help me or benefit me or entertain me as much. Uh, but if there's content to it, uh, they're trolling, they're doing something funny, they're just having a good time. Uh, it's homies being homies. Like, if, like I would much rather like watch Daltouche because while he is also good, he is also insanely entertaining and funny. Watching somebody like uh, Imperial Hal, he's really good, uh, has, in my opinion, no personality. So, uh, you know, that's that's what I'm, I'm definitely there for, because I'm not going to learn tricks from these guys. They're, they're just they're not there to coach. They're there to be the best possible players they can be. Uh, so if somebody's got that personality, that's what I'm there for. Um, but these are 100 percent not good players. But these are these are the people that uh, that affected me as far as like wanting to kind of do some YouTube, wanting to be more variety stuff and wanting to not focus on skills uh, because every day my skills get worse and worse and worse. Five, six, seven, eight years ago, I was actually a pretty decent, uh, decent player. But now I can't I can't do anything. I have no reaction times. I'm often. Uh, I don't drink a lot, but uh, I do when I play video games uh, for, you know, the sake of comedy. So uh, my my skills are, are very limited. So uh, these guys helped kind of help me through that. And uh, again, th this is this this first one is is arguably like the OG of variety gaming comedy content is uh, is Vanos uh, watching that and like his friends back in the day. Um, obviously that those that friends group has dwindled down to just a few of them nowadays that that kind of uh, play together and some have like split off into different groups and some have you know gotten into some legal issues and stuff but uh not here for that uh but vanos has always been very clean well a little controversial comments every once in a while that he lets slip out but it's uh he's always able to like stay out of trouble with that stuff but uh he does it in a very funny wholesome way uh but he you know to me he was always the og of uh of just ridiculous comedy and and just i don't know uh, i don't know what it is about him but i could sit there and watch like his old school videos all day and i just laugh um same with like cartoons so when i first got into rainbow six i, I had already knew of cartoons from you know 2014 2015 whatever um maybe even before that but 2012 when did like gta come out like 2013 so probably about 2013 is when i really started watching like van os and all these guys and it dwindled down. I was like sub to like all that whole group for a while. And it just kind of dwindled down to like three or four of them. Um, but cartoons kind of broke away from that. And uh, when Rainbow Six came out, he started playing Rainbow Six a lot. And and uh, I loved his Rainbow Six videos because I was I was starting to get pretty big into Rainbow Six. And uh, so while he was a pretty decent player as well, he was also freaking hilarious. Like some of those ridiculous things he would say. So he was always somebody that I always enjoyed for like the Rainbow Six content um, while it's still good, but funny and with personality. So um, but remember that name cartoons, because now we're going to go to real life. Uh, so like real life, this could be, you know, vlogging or whatever. Um, but speaking of cartoons, uh, he and his uh, wife uh, have a YouTube channel called Acme Acres. Uh, it's pretty new. Um, maybe just started, uh, I don't know, five, six weeks ago, something like that. And, uh, they put out videos like 20, 30 minute long videos every Sunday. And it's about them buying a property and looking at, uh, like redoing the whole land, the whole house and everything. So it's just, it's just kind of their life, uh, buying this brand new property and what they've had to go through and stuff. So, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's entertaining. Uh, plus like just kind of getting like that inside look of somebody, um, that you've kind of always respected. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. So, uh, Acme acres in that the Acme stuff kind of pulls from his, his name of cartoons. Um, so that's kind of where they get that. Um, that's a cool little like cartoonish intro. It's pretty funny. Um, Roman Atwood, um, and, and really like, you know, he, he was kind of a YouTube OG of, of everything, right? Like he started like the whole pranks thing. Like if you've watched like a, 
a viral pranks video on YouTube. It was probably him uh, that had a, a large piece of that. Um, you know, he's he was. I think they had like the the like the biggest uh, was the the super. Uh, I don't know. Are we allowed to say Super Bowl? Is that that's super like copyrighted, isn't it? Um, the the big game. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, I think he had the, the, uh, the largest, uh, I'll just say Super Bowl commercial of all time or whatever, like, uh, like the most trending on YouTube or something like that. Whereas like he filled his house with, uh, like all like the, the bouncy balls things or, or whatever, like the play pit balls. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was actually a Super Bowl commercial and I think it was the biggest of all time. So, uh, it was, it was fascinating. Um, but his normal like vlogs or whatever, he's gone through some like um, like intense stuff. He was just on like uh, 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 is it Logan? Yeah, it's Logan Paul's um, uh, podcast, and he he really broke down in detail about like all like the uh, crazy like stalking crap. Basically, like their lives were in danger. They got that like, had to get the FBI involved and stuff over like last couple of years. But they like had to disappear from YouTube. Like at one point, he went like five straight years with like pretty much daily vlogs. And uh, he said at one point, like there was three straight years where like, he didn't even get to go to like to bed with his wife at the same time, because he was always like, his wife was going to bed. And then he started editing the video from that day to get it out the next day type of stuff. And then the, that, that next morning, starting it all over again. So uh, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, but uh, they're, they're also very local here. Um they live like an hour away from me here in Ohio. So it's pretty cool um, to have a local guy. I got a chance to, to meet with him. Um, uh, I don't know, a few years ago. Um, there was like when YouTube red first came out, there was a, a, a show he did for YouTube red and I got to partake in that uh, and stuff. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, he's, you know, he's one of those OGs. He also started a podcast a few, I don't know, uh, maybe two, three months ago, something like that. And that's a little bit bigger of an insight into his life. And it's, it's also pretty cool. So, um, but the crazy stuff that's happened with like stalkers in their life is insane. And especially for content like his, that's non-controversial. Uh, it's very wholesome, family, family friendly, PG rated type stuff. And they still have like death threats. It's, it's stupid. Um, but yeah, it's, I would also recommend like checking out like Logan Paul's podcast, um, from just like a few days ago, he, he had one with, uh, it's called, I think it's called the M impulse. Uh, it's, uh, but yeah, look it up from just a couple days ago. Um, and then, uh, a, a, a random one here. Um, I don't know why, but I was, I'm always kind of like into sailing or whatever. And there is something I've been, I've been watching for a couple of years now. It's called sailing project Atticus. Um, most Saturdays they have a video come out unless they're actually traveling. Um, but it's about this younger couple that have bought a smaller sailboat with the intention of like living off the grid on a sailboat. And uh, it was called Atticus and now they've upgraded to another sailboat and they just, just like in the last month had crossed the Atlantic for the first time. And, uh, so they're, they're over in, uh, uh, like Europe and stuff. So they had to like sail to the Bahamas and then from the Bahamas over to Europe. And, um, so they've done that now. Um, and, uh, it's pretty fascinating. So, uh, but it's basically their lives of like repairing their, their sailboat constantly. And like, that's just like part of the sailboat life and the boating life is like always being, always having to do that stuff. So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty unique and it's a pretty good channel as well. Um, sports stuff, uh, click productions. Uh, I don't, I don't know why, like all this, all this stuff right here is, is basketball. There's click productions, uh, uh, Kenny, who's king of the fourth quarter and uh crispy flakes uh they're all it's all basketball content uh i enjoy it they do like fun rebuilds and stuff and they all they all three have unique personalities um king of the fourth quarter i started following because he did like uh basketball trivia or whatever and he always claimed to be like the king of that and um uh but it was it was really cool it was uh fun stuff he's he's expanded and and uh it's come pretty big name now in like the basketball world uh, he's been on tv and everything now so uh, shout out to him. Um, and, but click productions dude out of New York, uh, super, super cool dude. He's also a lot younger than I thought he was. He's only like 22, 23, but he's been doing this since he was a teenager. Um, 
but he's uh he's super cool uh super laid back and chill guy uh, and then there's crispy flakes he's a little more energetic and a little more fun but he's been changing his content like crazy recently uh it's all all, all sports related stuff but uh he's been trying to up his production value and stuff and uh so again a cool dude uh really enjoy his stuff and and uh but he's been trying to evolve um so sketch comedy uh i have two different groups in here uh viva la dirt league uh most nerds know about this group uh viva la dirt league it's a couple dudes from new zealand who uh do all sorts of different sketch comedy and uh they've been able to like really expand and stuff and they're slowly growing their content in all sorts of new ways but um they're they're freaking hilarious the nice thing is is like they they put out videos several times a week and they're like two three four minutes so it's really easy watches um and you'll you'll always laugh especially like their board series is my favorite it's like retail workers and like uh working at like a uh like a, like a pc pc supplies type of a store uh it's it's freaking hilarious so i highly recommend that uh and then a couple dudes out of uh it's like almost like a guilty pleasure a couple dudes out of um australia it's uh Fair fairbairn films that's uh, their last name is two brothers and uh they make ridiculously dumb content but it is so funny again they're really short sketches uh, it's like one one minute to four minute type of stuff so it's really easy to get through uh but it's so funny and they do so many ridiculous things so i highly recommend watching them it's a few days a week uh type of stuff um gta content uh there's really like two dudes i watch anymore um first and foremost is uh as a putter who the reason why i like him is while well, he's got like tons of, he, he always says he's not very good um but his content says otherwise he's he's uh he's obviously pretty talented um uh in the in the gta aspect and gta world but his his videos are like 12 minutes once a week and uh they're very entertaining uh he's you know there's so many people in gta who just like want to troll people and they just want to grief people he's like the anti-griefer so he kind of like jumps around from lobby to lobby waiting for somebody to start killing somebody else and kind of jumps in as like that hero to just like start obliterating that person and trolling them as much as he can uh until they get ticked off and leave and uh, so it's very entertaining. So I always highly recommend him. Um, and, but then uh, Sonny Evans. Uh, Sonny Evans, I think, is out of the Netherlands. And uh, but he's, he makes uh, amazing content. I wish he would stop disappearing for months at a time. Um, I know, like, the GTA content is few and far between anymore because it's almost a decade old at this point. Um, but his content uh is always amazing it's so funny and uh it's 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 really good i don't i don't even know how to describe him um but it's kind of it's kind of ragtag-esque in the apex world where it's a lot of storytelling um he kind of narrates his videos uh which is which is really good and he uh he, he plays with another guy that's really entertaining but they they've also done a lot of challenges i've done a couple in my day of like walking across gta or doing this biking across gta uh i did like a gta olympics thing things like that and he's also done a lot of those um so uh some of those were very inspiring for me to also try and attempt some of those um but his are his are so much better so uh that's what he specializes in all right so i have a couple like miscellaneous things that i don't know where these categories fit um slow-mo guys is one uh two english dudes um, I think one still lives in England, one lives in Texas, um, but they basically film things in slow-mo. Uh, they, their last video, I think was like this past week, they, uh, they blew up a Stretch Armstrong, the old Stretch Armstrong toys where they filled it with water. Um, but they, they break things, they blow up things, they shoot things, uh, explode things, but they record it all in like 2000, 5000, 10,000 frames a second. And it's uh, it's beautiful content watching it in slow mo. So uh, recommend those guys if you don't watch them already. Uh, something new I found, which again is is weird, but I've really enjoyed it, is uh, tribal people try. Uh, so what this is is basically uh, people. I think that I think they all live in like Pakistan, um, but they they live in like little tiny villages, so they have no exposure to foods and and any type of technology and all sorts of stuff. Um, 
but they set like four or five guys down and they give them here's you know a mcdonald's fish fillet or here's a here is a uh here is yogurt here is you know tons of food they've never had here's a hershey bar and they let them eat these things most of the time it's food and they let them try them and uh it's fascinating they, they did one even though it's, it's not food but they had them like do vr and like they've never like left pakistan they never left these villages and like they put them in the middle of new york using vr and it's like oh my gosh like the buildings are so massive they're not used to seeing anything more than like two or three stories uh so it's it's fascinating um but it, again it's good content i think one saturday like a month or two ago i sat down and watched like 20 of the videos it was amazing um good mythical morning uh, most people are aware of them they're a pretty big channel i don't know how many subs they have nowadays 15 20 million something like that but uh these guys have are kind of ogs in the youtube world as well um i kind of go through phases with them where i like i really like their old old content i love sorry my neighbor just started mowing um their property is like 15 feet uh back here but kind of behind me so you might be able to hear the mower in the background uh apologies um, but anyway, they've been around for forever and they've grown. And, and I, like I said, I kind of go through phases with good mythical morning where I'd watch them for a year. And then like the content is just like here recently, it's been a lot of like food, 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 like the last couple of years. And, um, that's what gets them a lot of views. And I think they were just following those views and, uh, I kind of got tired of it. Um, the old school stuff, which I know, like eventually you just run out of stories, but they used to just sit there and talk. And I really liked that, but they're, you know, as they got bigger and more money and a bigger uh, team behind them, better production value, they've, they've expanded and stuff, but they also have like amazing guests, like celebrities and stuff come in there. Um, so that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and then last but not least, and I, I think it hits because I'm filming this on the day that Cobra Kai season five drops is uh, Cobra Kai nation. Uh, so shout out to that guy. Uh, it's a younger guy from England uh, who uh, just records Cobra Kai content. He goes to all these like Comic Con type things and um, stuff, and 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 has met everybody and is a big part of like the online community of Cobra Kai, and uh, is kind of like a mini celebrity within that. And uh, but he's a really cool guy. He's always doing live streams and chats with everybody, and uh, he just kind of sets there like his live streams are just him talking about Cobra Kai and watching like the trailers with people and stuff. It's, it's really cool. So uh, yeah. So shout out to Cobra Kai nation. Um, all right. So that is, uh, that is it for me for, uh, for today's video. This is again, just, um, just YouTubers that I watch that I watch on a regular basis. So um, feel free to uh, jump in and like I said, I'll have links for everybody below. So feel free to jump over and, uh, and check all these people out. They're all amazing. They're all worth subbing to. So be sure to hit uh, sub button for me and then go over and check them out. Um, all right, guys. Uh, later.